For most of the day today, it's been dry, even some sunshine moving out at times. But right now we are tracking a few showers making their way through the valley right now. And some of the heavier showers are moving right through central Columbiana County at this point. Guilford Lake right now getting some heavier showers, even some showers just south of Salem, and then tracking north through locations like Canfield and uh, Jackson Township in Mahoney County. Farther to the south, though, is where the heaviest of the rain is. And even a severe thunderstorm warning issued for Carroll County and moving into Jefferson County. County, but that is south of Columbiana County and has and there have been no severe weather warnings issued for anywhere in the WFMJ viewing area this hour, but off to the west, a severe thunderstorm watch was issued for central Ohio and just south of north central Ohio. A few stronger thunderstorms developed along the, along a line with that, but as they move to the east, they seem to be weakening a little bit and even some flood watches across to southern Ohio as that is the area that is expected to have the greatest chance of seeing severe weather over the uh, over today and even in the day tomorrow. 78 degrees right now, not all that warm, but the dew point is up to 62. This means we're starting to see that more humid or feel that more humid air around right now. Pressure falling 29.85 inches as a low pressure system tracks closer and closer to us uh, over the next 24 hours. And we can see where all the rain cooled air is everywhere here in orange, especially in central Ohio and northwestern northwestern Ohio. That's where the air, the air has really been cooled by rain, but it hasn't rained out in Cincinnati. 83 down there. Huntington, West Virginia at 81, Clarksburg, West Virginia also at 80 degrees. And we're firmly in the warm sector right now, so we will have the chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms popping up throughout the night tonight. But tomorrow afternoon is where we're looking at the greatest chance of th showers and thunderstorms developing ahead of a cold front. That will sweep through, and then we'll have very cool July air moving through. This is going to be some of the coolest air we've felt all summer long. And especially tomorrow afternoon, we do have an enhanced risk for severe weather across the valley and an even greater risk for farther down to the south. This is an area that we'll have to watch out for large hail, damaging winds, and even a couple possible tornadoes. I think our tornado risk is low in the valley, but damaging winds and hail is not out of the question tomorrow afternoon, so we will have to be advised of that. And it does coincide with Sunfest tomorrow, and unfortunately it does look like we do have the chance for a few strong thunderstorms in the afternoon. High of 83 though, not very hot. We'll have some clouds mixing in with the sunshine, but it's not going to be a sunny Sunfest day throughout a good portion of the afternoon. 66 for the overnight low tonight. It's going to be warm. We'll have some showers, probably some thunder mixed in it as well in a couple spots for the day tomorrow. 83. We are looking at partly cloudy skies early, so we are going to see a little bit of sun for Sunfest, but then stronger thunderstorms in the evening. We will have to watch out for that. We'll of course keep you updated here on WFMJ and on social media. Monday only 70, and then we gradually warm up and we're back to normal by the end of the week. Even some sunshine once we get through the clouds on Monday. Still not liking these cooler temperatures. Right, I know. It's <laughs> going to be below average for a few days, but we'll be we'll get back to normal. All right, thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm. Coming up next on 21 News for some suffering back pain or